Light and peace, brothers and sisters. Topic of discussion today is how many Jerusalems do we have in this entire world today? Um, when you go on Google, you get approximately about 42 Jerusalems all over the world. One of them must be authentic. And the problem is, in order for you to untangle the situation at end, you have to like do lots of research. And one thing I noticed over the years is that um, there's been a major cover up. First, majority of people believe that the current Jerusalem in Israel is Jerusalem. But that Israel was officially established in 1948. So how could it be? How could that Jerusalem be the Jerusalem? And what is so special about this Jerusalem? So let's break this down for a minute. What I noticed about, um, what I noticed in the, uh, in the religion uh, saga is that Jerusalem is the token or certificate uh, for some people to, uh, to go to heaven. They believe that if they dwell in Jerusalem, they will automatically go to heaven. That's one belief. Um, I don't know if that's true, but uh, for my years of reading the Wapsi, that cannot be true. You cannot have uh, a site or location to automatically give uh, grant you access to heaven, um, unless if they're hiding something, right? Um, so what is so special about this Jerusalem? Jerusalem seems to be an odd cake to the entire spiritual people and the religious people. Even in heaven, the spirits of the dead, when they die, they're busy looking for Jerusalem. And you have people today also believing in the new Jerusalem. So you got a lot of people saying the, the new Jerusalem is outside of Africa. This is the belief. While you have a small amount of people that actually believe that Jerusalem is in Africa, but the problem is wait, what out of 42 Jerusalems in the entire world, some people believe it's 32 Jerusalems that we have in the entire world. Some believe it's 40, some believe it's 38. Uh, on the average, you know, between 30 to 42. That would be an accurate number if you were to look uh, going from one country to the other. Um, but here's the catch. What is so special about Jerusalem? What would Jerusalem do for you? One thing I discovered over the years is that some people believe that this Jerusalem, if you live in that locality, that angels will visit you and all oh, will bless you. Let me not say visit you. Angels will bless you. As long as you live in that locality, you will be blessed. I don't see that to be true because uh, when you look at the true locality of uh, Jerusalem today, I cannot say for sure that these people are blessed, right? So subscribe to my YouTube video. Uh, I am going to be using the OAPC to officially decode and give the true locality of Jerusalem. I'm going to be using the OAPC to explain 
and give the true locality three things to address. If Jerusalem is indeed found, then you find your Joshua, which people ignorantly called Jesus today. If you find your Jesus, then you find the true locality of Nazareth. So what does Nazareth, Jerusalem have to do with this entire thing? What is so special about this? It is my belief and my conclusion that Jerusalem hold what you call a weapon which the, East, the true Israelites back then had access to. And they used that weapon uh, to be higher when it comes to war, military, and gaining boundaries or winning wars or gaining boundaries from one country to the other. That's why Jerusalem is hot cake. Um, funny enough, if you are to ask an average uh, evil Israelite today, or uh, the way is Jerusalem today, they will tell you it's Africa, but when you look at the map of Africa, Africa is big, large, humongous. Which part of Africa is this located? I've heard people say Jerusalem is in West Africa. I've heard people say Jerusalem is still in Egypt. Um, some people say it's in the current uh, country today of Zimbabwe. And you've got some people who say it's in Mozambique. Um, interesting though, uh, the truth to the matter is it's in Africa. Subscribe to my YouTube video. I am going to officially be using the OIPC to decode the true locality of the ancient Israelites after they had migrated out of Egypt. And so I'm not going to be focused on where they were in Egypt. Just going to dive a little bit through showing that when they left Egypt, the areas they were still based on or they were still operating or leaving when they were going to the so-called promised land or the land where they were going to settle officially was the areas or locality of Africa. So they did not leave Egypt and go to another continent. That's the mistake a lot of people are making. So, so in my next video called True Locality of the Israelite, I am going to render up using the OIPC now to show the true locality of Jerusalem, Nazareth, and the Israelites. And based on that information, we can get the true locality of Israel. Israel is not outside of Africa. Israel was in Africa. But the part in, of Africa that it was located at that time before they got scattered uh, will be revealed. An interesting stuff for you to know is why would the creator or God in the book of Is be consigned about 4 million slaves in America? They had slaves in other continent. They had slaves in other countries. Why was the United States a consign, or should I say, a key factor that four million slaves need, needed to be free and needed to be um, out of bondage in America? 
that's a a key word to know that the creator was consigned about a peculiar, unique people. Because if those slaves were not unique, I can guarantee you, there'll be not much of effort to try to release these people. And history has it that these slaves that was freed out of bondage that was given uh, an emancipation truly all came from Africa. Light and peace, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye now.